most refined you have. Those that call themselves lesbians, transsexuals, bisexuals, they are refined in the heart. Okay? You have no right to say they are wrong. That is their own definition. And that is the sexuality they want to experience and express. Where do you belong? And if you have chosen a place to belong, how do you want to be in that land? You can't hold anybody up for your failure. It is your life. You want it. So please, treat it and return. I must confess it's a very good one. I appreciate the organizers of the event because, as I have seen, the students are ready to open their minds for a new, um, a new living. And this is one thing that impressed me about the program. It's a very good one. I actually appreciate the organizers of the events because I don't know that I could have gotten much of what I got here today. I was expecting to gain less, but of course, I gained more than I expected. And a uh, few of the parts that I met, I was so much interested in the part of the coach quiz where I can where I can envision myself in the next five years and see what I see myself becoming in five years. So it's actually an awesome experience. I can say categorically that the program is worthwhile as in it's an eye-opener to so many things unknown. We, I can see that the purpose of this program is that most of us came here to unlearn, to relearn, because it's totally changed our orientation about sexuality, about purpose in life and about um, drug abuse addiction so it's a program that is worthwhile and of a true it's it has changed so many persons orientation the whole climax conference it's it's all encompassing because it is simply like our slogan says if you must do it right I think what we lack in our country, Nigeria, is the ability to do things right, even when we know things right. We know it's quite all right, but to do it, to put it into practice, is always a big issue. And I tell people there's a difference between decision and doing. You can decide to be a better person, you can decide to make a world a beautiful place, but if you don't do, that is the action word, doing, then definitely your dreams will be sharpened. So today we're able to facilitate on various areas. Uh, personally, I spoke on drug abuse, I spoke on addictions, I spoke about some um, substance abuse, and I made them to understand that it is part of life. We grow into it. We want to meet up with life. We want to be a better person, and there is no way we will not come around these things. And today it was a beautiful turnout with um, the students of Federal University of Agriculture, Belkuta, where I personally, it happens to be my alma mater, I also finished from here years back. So I'm glad to give back to the society and community, making them to understand that it is not just deciding to do that matters, but the action which has to do with you practically doing. So.
today was awesome and I want to give it back to the convener, Mrs. Tomide, Kemi Tomide Johnson, putting this up all the way from the United States. It's not easy, I can tell you that. And she has to rush back to, but no, it's all worth it. Because when we grow old and all we wait for is death, we eat, we listen to transistor radio, whatever this next generation make of our country is banded on us all. If they tell us not to go out on every Mondays, we dare not go out. If they tell us to always be on tie and shoe and shirt, we have to obey. But whatever we can put into them now makes the difference. When we are old, when we are weak, then we would have a resting place. You sit down and close your eyes. Close your eyes. You imagine yourself in that position. Close your eyes. 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 I would want to commend the organizers for, you know, um, bringing it to the students. Okay, they are the ones that really need it. They need it more, and so it's all in all, it's a good program. It's a good initiative, and um, I pray that this will be a one-time thing. Right, to, uh, they continue to do it because, in as much as our students are getting the message, they would have less um, unwanted pregnancies reduced abortions, less, less um, students coming down with STIs and all other um, medical problems. Let me call it a dream come true, though we're expecting something more robust in time of turnouts because it's a partnership with um, the CENT, the Center for Entrepreneurship Development in um, Puna. But basically looking at the reactions, the questions and the faces of the attendees today, you could see that they've taken something that they can run with for the rest of their life. And all the topics were carefully selected, the um, facilitators were carefully sorted to deliver on point. And at the end of the day, you could see that this is a done deal, although we didn't have all the luxury of time which you can't always have, but the, 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 the little time we had with them sure is superb and excellent. Our destiny is in our hands. Nobody can help us to succeed if we ourselves do not want to succeed. There's a common saying that says happiness is a choice. Whatever we do, wherever we go, the friendship we keep, the food, the clothes, the academic pursuit we have, who we marry, especially, will determine who we become in life. It is not by accident. You can't just wake up and be a pilot. You can't wake up to just be an engineer. You can't wake up and just be a happily married person. You cannot just wake up and be one of you. Desire is good, but without the work and without making credible choices, all those things will remain nothing but a dream. 
and that is exactly the message we are putting across there that if you must decide to be, be somebody if you ever have a dream if you ever have a picture in your heart to be somebody ensure you are making the right choices to portray and to bring out the image you are seeing so that at the end of the day you can actually fulfill your potential not just fulfilling it to the maximum capacity so that I, whenever people will look upon you legacy will be able to speak for you that you lived and you lived a life if you must do it right Thank you.